Hey, what's up? It's Tony. I just want to say thanks for putting your name and email in. And I'm going to talk to you about some paints and how you can get started on a budget. Or if you want to spend a little bit more money and get into quality paints, you could do that too. But I don't want to get you all confused. And I know it's a little confusing when you're just starting out. You don't know what kind of paints to get or where you should even go. You know, there's a lot of people saying you need this, you need that, and when you go to paint shops, they try to sell you things that you don't need. I was just in a paint shop the other day, and a newbie came in, a military guy. He's like, uh, I, you know, I'm, sit I'm standing here listening to the guy, the military guy talk over here with the paint rep. Paint rep's trying to sell him all kinds of stuff he doesn't even need, and I'm over here feeling all bad. I'm like, trying to interrupt him and go in and say, hey, you know, you really don't need a sealer if you're going to put a, a nice 2K primer on the car or things like that, you know. So I, I caught him outside when he came out. I actually waited for him a little bit. And I actually gave him the scoop. I said, hey, you know, you really don't need this. You need this, this, this. If you have any problems, give me a call. He was like so happy and uh, we left off like that. But anyway, let's get started. Um, when you're first starting on your project, you're going to need a little bit of primer to go over your body worked areas, your body filler, or your scratches, or your glaze putty, whatever you're doing. We have primer. So if you're just starting and you have some metal parts, if you sanded your car down to metal, you have a metal area, you want to make sure to always use an epoxy primer, an etching primer, okay? Uh, we have an epoxy an etching primer right over here. Uh, this is a little old stuff, all right? They don't sell Omni anymore, so don't worry about the brand. We're just talking about the type of primer, okay? So this is an epoxy primer, good for going over metal parts, okay? It's an epoxy. Um, and this, we have a, a can type, all right? You can get the self-etching. This is a self-etching. It's like an epoxy primer. The same thing, you just shake it up and you can do little areas of your project with little primer cans like this also, okay? Then we get into our 2K primer, which is a high build primer. You have to mix your hardener with it. It's a four to one mixture. So if you buy one gallon of primer, you're gonna have one quart of hardener to buy. You mix it four to one. This stuff is usually very, very thick. So what I like to do is mix it down with some reducer. This is the reducer that we use. Uh, this is the shop line reducer. Don't worry about the brands, okay, because all different brands have different products. I'm just showing, talking to you about the basic overview of 2K primer. You're, you might need some reducer, which I always use reducer because it's just very thick. And when you start spraying with this stuff through the gun and it's thick, it's going to come out dry. And you're going to get a rough texture on your car. So you want to make sure you mix it up pretty good. I usually like to add about 20% of reducer in it. Uh, you know, between 15 to 20 percent just to thin it out a little bit so it lays on nicely. So this is your 2K primer. It's a high build. Uh, it fills up. So you could have your car sanded, prime it with this stuff, and then you're good to water sand with four to 600 wet sand grit. Four to 600 grit. This way you have a nice, nice finish to put your base coat or any type of paint on top of it. All right. So this is your your primer. They say that you need to put sealer on top of this, but you don't have to. Don't let them sell you on sealers and stuff because you don't need it. All right? We'll talk more about that in depth in the course, but for now, just want to talk to you about this overview and primers. Okay, so this is also a high build primer. You could get a spray can type. All right, same thing as this, same thing, but it's in a can and you could do little areas, spray it on. Do your little coats just like that, okay? Same type of thing. Now, let's talk about base coat, clear coat application. This is our shop line base coat series, okay? Base coat, clear coat means you have your base color. Okay, this is a base coat, clear coat chart up here, okay? You get to pick out a factory color, see a car on the street that you like. Oh, man, I really like that color on the... 2000 Mercedes. What color is that? You go to the paint shop, you tell them, look, it's a 2000 Mercedes. They have a book, they open the book up, and they could find the exact color that you saw on the street from that car. You want to put it on your car. They could get you the exact same color code very easily. Okay? So that's a base coat. So a base coat 
comes in, you could buy them in gallon size, quart size, or pint size, whatever size you want. If you're in the UK or whatever, you might be on the, on the liter system, you get them in liters. Um, so this stuff is mixed 50-50, okay? So if say if you buy a pint of base coat, you're going to mix this 50-50, so you're going to end up with a quart of base coat, sprayable. So you're going to have this much to spray. If you buy a quart, you're going to have a half a gallon to spray. Pretty simple stuff, easy to do the math, and we use the same reducer, okay, to mix this, right here, same reducer that we use for the 2K primer, same reducer we use for the clear coat. Very easy, simple to do, um, it just depends, most paint brands are the same, the reducers you could use for the primers, you could use for the base coats, you could use for the, redu uh, the clear coat. Okay, so it's we're using the PPG shop line right here. The higher brand of shop line is called your Deltron series. Deltron by PPG is like Louis Vuitton versus uh, maybe like a, a Kmart brand or a, a Walmart, something a cheaper brand versus a Louis Vuitton versus what's a, a cheap handbag? like Old Navy versus uh, Gucci or something like that okay so this is just a higher brand of paint compared to your shop line now you're looking at a huge price difference okay so I like to go with the cheap version you're not gonna see a difference when you paint the car at all people I've talked to paint reps they says you can't tell the difference at all you're never gonna notice so I like to go with the cheap stuff. Sometimes I get deals, I get insider connections, I get this stuff pretty cheap. But anyway, let's talk about clear coat. Alright, so right here we're using the, the Shopline clear coat. It's a polyurethane clear coat. All right? It's not the best. Uh, the one better than this is the high build. Not the high build, the high solids, my mistake. I'm thinking about primer. But we have the high solids clear coat, okay? This is not it. But the high solids clear coat has a stronger gloss, right? I was using this stuff on a very cheap job uh, a couple weeks ago. That's why I had some leftover. But I have some new stuff coming, and I'll, I'll actually show that to you later on. But anyway, uh, same reducer, like I said. This is a, a four-to-one mixture, okay, uh, with our hardener. And then reducer, we could add in a little bit of reducer if we want. Usually they say one part. So they say four parts of clear, one part hardener, one part reducer. And I like to buy this stuff by the gallon because we use this for everything. For our base coat, we use it for our clear coat, we use it for our primer. So it's good to have. Okay, so that's base coat, clear coat. Not an expensive type of paint. Not very expensive at all. Uh, for this setup, we're looking at about $100 for this clear coat system. If we go to Deltron, we're looking at $300 for the best top of the line clear. So the big difference, but again, I just talked to the paint rep three days ago. I said, come on, be honest with me. Can you tell the difference spraying this clear or the Deltron clear, the $100 clear versus the $300 clear? After it's painted on the panel, sanded with 2000 and buffed out, color sanded and buffed, can you tell the difference in gloss? He said, nope, you can't tell the difference. So I told him, see, you can't tell the difference. I never told the difference. I've been painting for, since I was 14, 13 years old. I'm 28 now. When you're finished color sanding and buffing with these clears, you're not going to even tell, okay? I just want to put that in your head so you're okay getting the cheap stuff. You're way okay, unless you know, you want to get the more expensive stuff, it feels better to you inside. And yeah, I'm sure it's a little bit more durable, maybe a harder type of clear coat in the long run. Maybe it'll last longer, but I've had cars painted 10 years ago with the same stuff on it, and it still looks good, okay? So anyway, that's our primers, our base coats, and our clear coats right here. Now, when you're doing base coat, clear coat, you can mix... You can get crazy and you could start mixing pearls and flakes in your clear coat. Okay, so these are the types of pearls you can get. These are all dry pearls. Okay, this is a house of color, very famous brand with pearls. 
could crack this open. You could look inside, see how the pearl is right there. All right, very very fine stuff. Could dab my finger in, it and you could just see how fine this stuff up. Okay, you mix this in your clear coat. All right, and you could do any color variation that you want. You can get creative, and it's very very cool. Um, what I started with when I first started was I would paint maybe like a motorcycle tank white base coat like this. We have a white base coat. I'd get a motorcycle tank painted white. I'd say, okay, let me do a, a red pearl. So I would mix a little bit of my red pearl, very little, okay, because it really shows up and the more coats that you put on it, the darker it gets, right? So I would do a little bit of red pearl, paint it, let it dry, go out in the sun and look at it, it was like really beautiful and I was just so happy, like wow I did this, it came out so nice. It was really cool when you start experimenting with different types of pearls and stuff and uh, it's super cool. So I really highly recommend you to try pearls and flakes. Let me talk to you a little bit about flakes over here. Uh, we have uh, what's called the Ultra Mini Flake. Okay, this is called the Micro Sequence. It's very, very, very fine flake. Okay, let me use my other finger here and we'll take a look at that flake. Okay, very, very fine flake and it's really cool. This stuff looks really nice over base coats too. So, highly recommend to, to experiment with this. What I usually like to do is say like I'll paint the car red, I'll put some red pearl in it and I'll put some flake in it. So when you mix the clear coat up and you paint the car, you're going to have like red pearl and, and flake. It looks really nice. I must have painted, I would say, 25 to 30 cars with this and look how much I have left. This, this will last you your, your painting lifetime. And this only costed me about $25. It's probably about 35 bucks now, about 30 to 35 dollars now for a can. And you could get all different types of colors. Um, you know, we got blue, we got purple haze, silvers, another blues. This is the red pearl I was talking about. I bought this when I was uh, 13 years old. I'm 28 now. So this is how long I have this pearl. Old bottle of pearl right here. You could actually kind of see how it lays out. If you could see the color a little bit. But this is a bad example. But anyway. Um, and then they have jumbo flake. Okay, this is the stuff that people go crazy with and they put in low rider cars and you want to get that super let's use a different finger you could see how big you could see how big this rainbow flake is compared to the micro sequence okay so when painting with this type of flake uh, there are a couple of things you want to make sure you don't do and don't worry about it because I'll teach you everything, uh, especially with big flake and when you're painting with these types of pearls. Just wanted to give you a quick overview on everything so you kind of get an idea. Now, like I said, you have your base, so you spray your base, and then when you're mixing your clear coat up, okay, say so you have a, a half a gallon ready mixed, ready to paint. Then you would measure out, okay, I'm gonna put maybe, you could measure by weight or by size of a spoon. You could go like a one teaspoon full of this stuff or you could go by, have a little gram scale and do grams, okay? It all depends on you how you wanna do it. Uh, me, I was always doing custom jobs and I never really cared to worry about touch up to redo it again, so I never measured. I just put a little bit in, mix it up and paint it and look cool. But if you're doing a car that you're gonna keep, you're gonna wanna make sure you measure out, okay, for a half a gallon of this clear, you know how much pearl you put in it so you could mix the same batch again on a smaller scale just divide it down and have the same exact color match just an idea okay so we talked about our base coat clear coat uh, with our pearls now let's talk about the cheaper paints uh, we could get into synthetic enamel and acrylic enamel systems okay this is a shop line. It doesn't really tell you anything, but this is an acrylic enamel. Acrylic enamel. It's a single stage paint. And this is a very cheap, okay? One gallon of this stuff, I only paid about $78. It's a white. White is the cheapest paint out there. Uh, if this was a red, it would probably be maybe a hundred bucks, $110 or so. 
And uh, I just want to talk to you about the mixture of this stuff really quick. Um, synthetic enamel is a cheaper enamel type of paint. Okay, it's um, it's just a cheaper blend of mixtures. Okay, acrylic enamel is supposed to be more durable and a little harder finish. Not much more costly. You just have to pay an extra, I think, forty dollars for the catalyst, the hardener. Okay, but I'm doing a paint job in a couple days. We're going to do a basic synthetic enamel system, so there's no hardener. So the mixture that we're going to use with this system is the same reducer, believe it or not. This reducer is used for basically everything. Okay, so it's very simple. You don't have to go get different types of reducers. Same reducer we're going to be using uh, that mixes our primers, our base coats, our clear coats. We're going to be mixing it for our enamel single stage system. Okay, so this is a four to one mixture also. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing four parts of this to one part of this and we're going to be spraying our car very soon. This is a cheap, this set right here is about $110 for everything. You could paint a complete full size car with this, no problem, have a nice gloss. And they also have polyurethane clear coats that you could put on top of this. Okay, So you don't have to put clear on this. It comes out very nice and shiny, kind of like woman's nail polish. If you think about woman's nail polish, they put on nail polish and you don't have to put clear on it, it's already shiny. It's called a single stage paint. Same thing right here. But if you want to give it that extra gloss, you can mix up clear and put it on top of it and color sand and buff it just like the base coat clear coat systems. I hope I'm not getting you confused here. I know if you're new to this, you've never heard of these terms before, it might be a little throwing you off balance, but it's very simple once you know what you're doing and once you pick what type of system you want to follow. Very easy. Okay, I want to do a synthetic enamel paint. This is all you need. Okay, I want to do base coat, clear coat. This is all you need. I'm just showing you a little bit of everything here. That's why the table kind of looks a little cluttered, but don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. So, okay, now this is our synthetic enamel. So to turn this into an acrylic enamel for that stronger, durable paint, they're going to sell us a, a hardener. This is not the hardener for it, but they're going to sell us a hardener to mix with it. So once we mix the hardener with this system, it turns it to the acrylic enamel, the stronger type of paint. Okay, and it's only like another $30 to $40 more for the hardener. Okay, but this customer didn't want it. He just wanted to put a nice quick paint job on it, um, charging him $1,000 for it, quick, easy cash in my pocket. It's a 24-hour job, and I get to put some cash in my pocket. So just, I just wanted to let you know that to turn it into an acrylic enamel, all we do is add a catalyst, a hardener. Without it is a synthetic enamel, and it dries perfectly within two hours. So you're not going to have a drying problem either way, okay? If you don't put the hardener in it, it's still going to dry. It's just a different type of blend of paint. So that's the, that's the overview of the, of the paints over here. I hope you kind of got an idea of what you could do. And remember, you could put pearls and flakes into the base coat, clear coat systems, or if you wanted to add clear in the synthetic enamel, acrylic enamel systems, you could mix up your clear, put your pearl in it, and do the same thing. This is just a cheaper paint. The base coat clear coats is a new style of paint. They've been doing it on the, all of the new cars for about 10 years now, at least 10 years. I think probably more, maybe about 14 to 15 years. Base coat clear coat is a newer style. All the new cars you see now, there's a base coat and there's a clear coat on top of it. Uh, lacquer is very old type of paints. After the lacquer, they came out with the enamel systems like we have right here, the, the urethane systems. And then we got into the base coat clear coat. Just giving you a rough overdraft, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And we're going to call it uh, a wrap. So I'll see you in the next video.